I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I can't wait to share this with you today. And what I am sharing is the best makeup brush ever. Now, I know that sounds overblown, but you would not believe the number of makeup brushes I have. I'm almost embarrassed that in three years of being on YouTube, I probably have 300, 350 brushes and many of them are foundation brushes and I went from one to the other to the other. And finally, after several years, I settled on this Sigma Flat Kabuki brush and I thought this was the be all end all and I think it was $50. It was a crazy expensive brush but then I realized about a month ago that my makeup and especially my foundation was looking heavy and cakey and I was using this brush and for some reason it just didn't look right anymore. And then I actually made a video where I changed foundations entirely and I did a picture on the right which was me in the old makeup which I thought looked craggy and old and then me on the left in a newer foundation, newer lighter foundation that I thought made me look better and amazingly you all liked the picture on the right I think it was which really surprised me and I realized that the difference between the two pictures was really in how the foundation looked and so what I did was that I searched around the internet and especially Ulta for great foundation brushes and this one kept coming up this is the Real Techniques Blend and Blur foundation brush and it has been a game changer for me and it's like $19.95 and that's not totally inexpensive but for the results that it produces it is amazing because look at my skin how nice and flawless it looks and I truly credit this with starting to use this Blend and Blur Real Techniques brush and in just a few moments I will show you how it applies foundation and it is beautiful and in the meantime I also bought this version of the Real Techniques brush set, the Blend and Blur brush set, and this is the contour one because not too long ago at all I noticed when I was editing one of my videos that one side of my contour looked absolutely terrible and I had applied that contour with a typical brush and it just looked like the chocolate bar. I've always talked about that before but I was embarrassed and I did post that video but I kept hoping that I wouldn't turn this way because you could really tell. So after purchasing this contour brush and using it to blend in my contour, I really feel like I won't suffer from those chocolate bars anymore. Both of these brushes are absolutely fabulous and let me show you this and you may remember maybe a couple of years ago these were really all the rage and I actually got a set of the most expensive brushes in this type a couple of years ago called the Artiste brushes and I have to say that even though they were all the rage and they were very expensive I was underwhelmed at the time and leave it to real techniques to come up with an improved version of those Artiste brushes and they didn't come out with this right away because this type of brush has been around for a couple of years now maybe two and a half years and I think what Real Techniques did was that it studied those brushes and really came up with an ultimate formulation for the brushes because for some reason this is markedly better than those Artiste brushes and one of the reasons I think it gives you such a smooth look is it literally has thousands of little tiny soft soft bristles it is super packed with these bristles and you use this for cream or lotion foundations and in terms of contour you use this for a stick oil based contour or a cream contour and I'll be showing you the application of that in just a few moments but both of these brushes are absolutely phenomenal and the more research I did on it I looked at many many of the reviews and in many cases there were 4.8 to 5 star reviews any place I looked and in terms of this foundation brush especially women were saying that they used the very expensive beauty blenders in the past and they are very very pricey but that this brush actually smoothed on their foundation much more effectively than using a beauty blender. Now in just a few moments I'm going to show you how I apply foundation with this brush but I'm noticing that my blush seems a little bit weak right now so I'm going to go ahead and use this contour brush to apply my blush and I believe they have a blush version however I don't have that I just have the contour so I'm going to go ahead and apply blush with this contour brush kind of to show you how it works and I'm using this Clinique chubby stick blush in the color what color is it plumped up peony which is a beautiful color look at that absolutely lovely and what you do with your foundation or your blush is you apply them to the back of your hand like this and there's that plumped up peony absolutely gorgeous and then you take your brush and again I'm using the contour brush and you just dip into that color there and then you're just going to pat it on let's see if I can find a mirror here and I'll do a little bit on the other side and I stay to that side of the iris and back and as you can see it absolutely buffs that in to where it just looks like you've been out in the cold you've come in you're really still blushing 
It looks super, super natural. And that is one of the problems I've noticed with our makeup as we age, is that our foundation can tend to look very cakey and our blush can tend to look like a swath of color and it just looks horribly overdone. And I really don't want that as I age. But look how beautiful that is. Absolutely like natural skin. And this Clinique blush is wonderful, but it is this brush that is making the total difference there. Look at that. And another place that I like to apply it is right down here. And I remember I used to do this when I was in junior high and high school because I just felt like it was very sophisticated to do this. And collarbones always look good. And I never had a chest until I bought one when I was an adult. So I sort of wanted to emphasize something on my chest. So I did that. But look how pretty that looks. It just accentuates it. And look at those cheeks. And it truly is this blush that has given me that beautiful, very natural looking glow. And I think this one is around $16, so it is super reasonable. And I don't see a reason necessarily to buy the blush brush, because to me this works fine for contour and blush. Basically after the contour, I just take a Kleenex and wipe it off and I'm ready to go with the blush. Now getting back to the foundation coverage, which was the whole point of this video, let me take off this makeup and I'll show you how this works. Okay, here I am up close and personal, and I'm going to be using my all-time favorite, which is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation in the color Nude. And I'm just going to take some of that and put it on the back of my hand, just about that much. I may need a little bit more. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Blend and Blur and hit it with four sprays of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Love that. I've used it for like three years. Just kind of buff that into my skin. And look how beautifully that works. It just kind of melts into your skin. See that? And I still have my eye makeup on because normally I would take my foundation up over my eyelids as well because that acts as a little bit of a primer. And I think I do need some more of this. For the longest time, I was going ahead, and you can do this, just going ahead and putting dabs of this foundation on your face first. And you can do that, but it kind of works well to put it on the back of your hand too kind of either way. I think they recommend the back of the hand technique. But look how beautifully that covers. No streaks at all, and it takes like 20 seconds to do your entire face. Look how pretty that is. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to bring a little bit of it down on my neck just to blend that in. But look at that coverage. Absolutely flawless, very skin-like, very youthful looking in my opinion. Really, really nice. Okay, since I have you here with me, I'm going to go on and put a little concealer under my eyes. And this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer, which is one of my all-time favorites. I put it here because I have little red marks there. And I'm not going to blend that with my foundation brush. I'm going to use this brush, which is a Sigma Precision Angled Brush. And I absolutely love this one, too. This is the one that I grab for all the time. I really don't even use any of the other brushes that I have in terms of putting on concealer. As you can see, it just smooths that out very beautifully. And I always use a little bit of Dermablend too. And here is the Dermablend Stick Concealer in the color Light. And it just looks like that, but it just helps cover up those little discolored veins I have under my eyes. Sometimes I put a little bit there and there too. And I found that with these stick concealers, sometimes the warmth of your fingers is the best thing to kind of blend that in nicely. See how beautifully that blends? Absolutely wonderful. Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of loose powder, and this is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores in Translucent. And I'll just take a little bit of that powder, and I just use what's here in the lid. Woo! And it just kind of blends in all of the oil because I do have oily skin at 62 years old. I don't still have acne necessarily. Every now and then I'll get a pimple, but mostly I still have a little bit oily skin. And as you can see, that just really blends it in nicely. Look how pretty that foundation looks now. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Blend and Blur Contour Brush, and I'm going to be using it with this NYX Wonder Stick in the color Universal. And one end is a highlighter, and one end is the contour. And I'm just going to Put a little contour there, put a little contour there. There we go. Maybe a little bit up here. A little bit up here. Then I'll do a little bit along the jawline just to kind of blend that in a little bit. We all start to get a little saggy right there. 
Then I'll just go ahead and take this little brush and we'll go ahead and start. I have my mirror over here, that's why I'm looking off camera. Look how beautifully that blended that in. Absolutely looks beautiful and natural. We don't want to wear chocolate bars, do we? No. The answer is no. Just keep blending and blending until you have the look that you want. I think I put it a little high. I think I put it a little high, so I'm blending it downward. Then I'm going to go in and blend these areas under my chin. There we go. Then I like to bring it down here, a little bit of darkness, because then you just look a little more sculpted down there. Now we'll go ahead and do the forehead. In just small little circles, we'll blend that in beautifully. I think you will really, really like this brush if you decide to invest in it. Okay, now I've got just the tiniest little bit of contour on the brush and I'm just going to go up and down the sides of my nose just to kind of slim that down a little bit across the front. Just the tiniest little bit there. Okay, we've finished contour. Now what I'm going to do is just wipe off the brush using a little Kleenex here. Just wipe that off until it is largely coming up clean. As you can see, it's pretty clean there. And then we're going to go ahead and apply that blush. Again, we're using the Clinique Chubby Stick in the color Plumped Up Peony. That should be enough there. So we just go ahead and use that as our little palette, our artist palette. And again, we're just going to start the blush right at about the iris of the eye and sweep it upward and just do that in a wonderful little circle motion just to make it look like your cheek is naturally blushing. Just buff it in. I really think these cream blushes do us a lot of favors as we age because that looks really, really natural and really, really pretty. Always do that, a little dab in the middle, just to kind of take that color up there. So there we are, there's that blush. Absolutely beautiful color. Now I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter, and this is the Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt Set. And I'll just add a little bit on the top of my nose there, just about halfway down, a little bit on the cupid's bow. <sighs> wow, that was a little too intense. Woo! <sighs> there, there we go. Then a little bit along here, and a little bit along here. Maybe a little in the middle. So there is that highlighter. Now we're going to finish off with lips, and I'm going to show you my absolute favorite lip combo. And this is a very inexpensive lipstick. This is the Flower Beauty lipstick in the color Spiced Petal. Look at that. It is a dupe for one of my all-time favorites, which is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. There you go. To me, it has just a little bit more pink, a little bit more brownish pink than the Pillow Talk. And for my coloring, it works very, very well. Now I'm going to go in with some lip liner, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. And here we go. I'll do it in the mirror over here. Just get the outside of that lip line. I don't ever go out to the sides completely, because then you can look like a clown. Okay, there's that lipstick, and I'm going to finish it off with the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss in the color Natural Luster. And here it is, just an absolutely beautiful kind of a peachy luster color. I'll just put it right there in the middle. So that Milani lip gloss just finishes off those lips. It makes them look dimensional and full. Well, that was a look at how these wonderful brushes make us look dewy and fresh and younger. And if you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you'll join the 50 Plus Beauty family. I hope you'll subscribe and or click the little bell and or share this video with a friend. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and this is the Miracles Now card deck by Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card. Here we go. I don't need to find my purpose. My purpose will find me. I don't need to find my purpose. My purpose will find me. You know, 
This one is kind of weird to me. However, just last night I was watching this video and it was a TED Talk by this woman in this red dress and she was talking about just this idea. She was saying that when she was very young, she had a great degree, but she went out and she kept not taking different jobs that were offered to her because she just wasn't sure that that was her path for her life and her purpose for her life. And she kept turning these jobs down and finally her mother said, just choose one. You don't have to find your purpose. Your purpose will find you. And actually, that is what ended up happening for this young woman because she ended up moving on various jobs and even ended up working for Martha Stewart and hosting one of her radio shows, I think. But anyway, her purpose definitely found her. And I think this is so true. All of us are put on this earth with a purpose. But if we stand there at the crossroads and evaluate every single opportunity we have in terms of, will this really fulfill my goal in life, my purpose? Then we're probably going to stand at that crossroads forever and never go anywhere. So friends, just for today, let's start acting out in life. If life presents something to us, even if it's not quite what we thought we wanted, let's really give it serious consideration because who knows? That could be our purpose knocking at our door. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.